Okay, so we're on another project for you guys. Uh, Innovate Coatings, Brian, Brian again, he's out there crushing it. Um, this is, I think, the third one we filmed in the last three weeks. This is 1,200 square feet. Is that right, right, James? Yeah, that's right. Gave me a weird look. So, 1,200 square foot floor, commercial building. What's unique about this one, that we haven't filmed a lot of, is it's got, you can look at the edges, it's got the, the uh, cove base. What basically that is, is where the floor is gonna be seamless and go up onto the wall. And so basically, you know, if something spills in here, it's never gonna be able to get to like the, the sheetrock and stuff and create damage to the walls. So it's cold in here. The resin was cold, so it's a lot thicker, which will make it, make it harder to spread. Anytime you're putting resin over cold subfloor, substrate, it's gonna, even if you have it warm, acclimated, once you dump it out, the floor's gonna make it really cold. So you'll notice I'm like pretty much using this as a, as a rigid squeegee, holding it straight up and down. Because I gotta apply a lot of pressure because this product's so thick right now because of the cold concrete. Wait, before we dive back into this project, we've got something exciting to share. Introducing Ligari Academy, your gateway to mastering the coatings industry. Learn not just the processes you're watching now, but tons of other techniques to create stunning, durable countertops, floors, walls, and showers. But that's not all. We also offer a comprehensive business seminar equipping you with marketing, sales strategies, and financial management skills. Whether you're just starting out or expanding your coding business, Ligari Academy is your ticket to success. Don't just watch us, join us and transform your future. We're about finished out here with the floor. He's flaking out there. I think they just need to mix a, what do you gotta mix up another gallon? And if, you, if you're doing this way, you can see how flake get out past, you know, you want, that's why we wanna trawl out past a couple feet and minimize getting flake out onto the floor where we have the coat again.
Um, but yeah, pretty simple. Flakes are simple, they're awesome. So we'll get this finished out. Uh, try to film some of the polyspartic coat tomorrow. And then uh, another one done, another one in the books. All right guys, so next day, audio is gonna be a little different on this. The equipment had a malfunction today, so we're just getting it on the camera. So it's probably gonna sound a little different, probably not as crisp as, as we like, but. Uh, so the reason Brian sanded this floor is because he wanted to get a little bit smoother. So if you wanna get smoother flake floors, you can run a sander across it. I think you used 120 grit, you can use 80 grit. They sand pretty hard, so you're not really gonna screw it up. Um, and it doesn't take long if you got a floor sander to buzz the floor. That's going to knock down any high peaks, any sharp edges that might have got missed when you're scraping. And it's also going to profile the, the texture, make it a little less of a profile um, so it's not as textured. And so that is an option. Um, obviously, if you're doing that, that's more labor. Maybe you want to charge a little extra for that. And then, uh, so they scraped it, cleaned all the flake up, sanded it. Uh, hand sanded all the edges and so obviously the next step is to vacuum everything up they've already started vacuuming back there and then they're gonna apply the poly we'll, we'll probably yeah we got a GoPro going we're gonna go film some other stuff um, you guys have seen the poly go down really simple but we still want to film it and show you guys so we're gonna film that time-lapse style 